What's up, everybody? It's Alex the Booktuber back at it again. And for tonight's video, I'm going to be doing a book haul and I'm going to be doing different books from the Land of Stories series by Chris Colfer. And I'm sorry I haven't done a book haul in quite a while because I've been pretty busy with all my other videos that I've done in the past. So I hope you all enjoy the video and stay tuned and let's get started. Here's book number one, Goldilocks Wanted Death, Wanted Dead or Alive. And this is a graphic novel. And doesn't she look awesome with her sword? And now that's what I call girl power. I mean, not all not all sword wielders have to be men, but they could be women too. And if you if anyone thinks girl power should be embraced these days, then go smash that like button if if you think women can change the world forever. If so, then you're then you're all amazing people. Now let's move on. The next book I got is Queen Red Riding Hood's Guide to Royalty. And look at Red Riding Hood's little Red Riding Hood sitting on her throne like the like the boss like the boss queen she really is in the Red Riding Hood kingdom. And doesn't she look beautiful? Like you can see Red Riding Hood on her red on her matching throne, and there's a wolf right there. The next book is the Mother Goose Diaries, and it tells you all about Mother Goose, and she's a pretty iconic character in the story, and she has a pet giant goose. <laughs> And she, I, I thought she was pretty funny in the story. <laughs> the next book is The Land of Stories, The Ultimate Book Hugger's Guide. And it tells you about all different kinds of characters that are like in the series. And it tells you all about different characters in the book. Like, for example, there's Alex Bailey. And she's what and she's one of the main characters in the book. And and there's her twin brother, Connor Bailey. And and there's and this lovely lady in that in her blue dress is their is the fairy godmother. AKA their grandmother. And the fairy godmother is also from Cinderella. And there's Prince Charlie, AKA Froggy. And there's also Queen Riding, Red Riding Hood. And, and Red looks pretty good with her hair like that as a queen. And and personally in the story, I thought she was kind of sassy. I think she's kind of sassy and a little demanding sometimes. <laughs> and and she can be kind of feisty. <laughs> and there's Goldilocks and there's Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk. And <laughs> I think I ship Jack and Goldilocks as a as a potential couple. And if you guys ship them as much as I do, then go smash that like button if you think Jack and Goldilocks will be a couple as the series goes on. Same and I'm also glad that 
Prince Charlie and Red Riding Hood are in love with each other too. And I hope I hope their romance blossoms too. And there's Mother Goose and her giant goose Lester. And there's Troll Bella. And she's like a queen troll, and she's like obsessed with Connor. I mean, that is just insane. And there's also John Bailey, who is Alex and Connor's late father. And and for those of you who are wondering, is that he died prior to the to the first Land of Stories book, and he used to own his own bookstore. And he's also the fairy godmother's son. What a, he's like the fairy godmother's son. And there's, and there's, and there's the twins' mom, Charlotte Bailey, and she works at the hospital, along with her, her boy, her boyfriend, then turned fiance, and then soon to be husband, Doctor Bob. And if you think Dr. Bob and Charlotte Bailey will have a, a great marriage as the story goes on, they, then go then go like the video again if you think it'll happen. Same with Queen Red Riding Hood and Prince Charlie's romance. If so, then you're all great. And that, that's all the characters I'm going to mention for right now in this book. And let's move on. The next book I have is A Treasury of Classic Fairy Tales. And and for those of you who do not know, is that I have a strong fascination with fairy tales. And there's two different kinds of versions of fairy tales in this world. Like, for example, originally there's the Brothers Grimm version that's been around since the late 1800s, written by Jacob and Wilhelm Grimm. And there's also the Disney versions of fairy tales. And in my personal opinion, my favorite version, versions of fairy tales are the Disney ones. And that's just my opinion. And I'm sure you guys have your own opinions just like I do. And I'm not going to judge you depending on what your favorite versions of fairy tales are. I mean, we're all human. And we're, and we're, all, and we're all fans of stories and book reading. And the next book is The Curvy Tree. And this is kind of like a childhood story that Connor and Alex's father would tell them when, when they were younger. And it and it's about and it's about a little girl who feels different than everyone else in her village until she meets this unique looking tree in the woods who helps her embrace on what it's like to be different. And that no one is the same. And I personally and respect that opinion about this world. And I hate all that ignorance that's out there right now. And I love showing off my freak flag. And, and it's okay to be different. And we're not the same. Otherwise, otherwise life will just be boring if we're all the same. And part of being different is like, it's kind of like, say, like there's a box of crayons and they're all different and all the colors are different. Same with markers and colored pencils and stencils too as well. And if you guys love being different than other people in a good way, then you should go like this video if, if, you, if you all agree with me. If so, I love you all so much with my heart. The last book I'm going to show you is Trobella's Birthday Party. 
And I can tell that Trollbella sure looks happy on her birthday. And I'm starting to wonder how trolls would celebrate their birthdays. And I bet they'll probably do it kind of like how other people would do it, but maybe in a different way. And I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to go like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications for when I do my next video pretty soon. And I hope you all have a safe October and have a great future. Soon to be Halloween. And I love you guys so much. And you guys inspire me every single day. I'll see you next time. Peace out, my fellow Land of Stories fanatics.